Well, welcome back. Today we've got some more beautiful parts from our friends at MED to show. And then some interesting differences uh, if you contemplate doing one of these straight rod engines. Uh, first, let me say that it is allergy season if I sound different. Uh, I'm suffering like a lot of people, but we continue on. Um, so indeed, thank you to, uh, to our friends at MED. Stephen, whom I talk to all the time, of course, Steve. Steve's the only man I've ever spoken with who will do a uh, compression ratio calculation with you while you're on the phone to sort out your race engine bits and pieces. But what we've got here, um, we showed this head before I had a chance to paint it, um, our stunning burgundy, uh, early MG, MGA type color. Looks really good on the, uh, in the car especially. Uh, this is the set of the LDX rockers, the offset rockers. These are unique in that they have a cradle that supports each pair of rockers. And one thing very different about them is there are no cotter pins or washers or anything on the ends. At first I thought, ah, where's all the parts? But once you locate these on the studs, that's it. Lovely, lovely bits. This is, uh, this is a solid shaft style to do away with the often troublesome roller fulcrums where you introduce way too much oil. This is a more stable setup, uh, improved metallurgy and stuff allows manufacturing these pieces right off. So yes, this workbench looks a bit like a catalog from MED and a few other people here. Here we go. Thank you, Tom Colby, Speedwell Engineering. Um, put together the little, uh, their, their super starter. Uh, of course, BHJ Dynamics. Uh, I'm a big believer in these American-made dampers. Jeff at uh, Winter's Circle. Here's the stunning new oil pan that, uh, yes, we hold our breath for many months, but here it is, uh, along with all the other pieces. So as we do our straight rod setup here, uh, we got uh, so like 13 and a half to one type compression ratio, flat top pistons. This is the multi-web crank. Uh, we're doing away with the offset. Just to show a difference here, here's the uh, standard um, 1 and 5 eighths bearing. This is the Cooper S size, the inline size. Here's the standard connecting rod. And you can see, pretty thick, pretty wide. And you look, compare the two bearings. This is a Toyota bearing that has been adapted for use with the straight rod uh, setup to go along with this multi-web crank. You've got a narrower rod bearing, um, which then allows repositioning these counterweights and things. Uh, to do away with that the unique offset that these A-series engines have. Right, we're talking about here, see how that connecting rod is sideways to the center line of the piston. So here's what you get. Thinner bearings, um, smaller bearing caps, of course, narrower. Um, I showed on a previous build that uh, these components from MED, piston and rod assemblies, crankshafts, almost half the weight of the factory pieces, about 40% lighter um, on average, if I remember exactly. But uh, this is how you build a race engine, super quality components. Here's the core, this is kind of funny. This was the core race engine um, that our friend sent us. Yeah, ARP rod bolts, same size as a small block Chevrolet V8. That's pretty good. But look at this piston, a race engine, a four ring piston with these huge open skirts just asking to be broken off like a graham cracker. And the weight of them and the drag of these rings, no, 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 here's how you do a race engine. Yeah, you can get slipper pistons and you can spend uh, ungodly money to build something that will live for a few minutes at stratospheric RPMs. We prefer to build these um, where they make power and torque in a range that lets them survive a race or a season or two. Our previous engine, championship uh, in its class two seasons with the engine that we previously used which in fact has already won the first race this year but this super engine going together now with the uh, the multi-web crank uh, about as trick a pieces as I could source uh, while keeping again a, a reasonable level of durability and power uh, to make this a very very enjoyable season We'll get back to our cup of tea, our antihistamines, and continue with our assembly process.